Greetings from Moab, Utah, and Arches National Park. We're sitting just below the pine tree arch in the desert in Moab. There's so many passages that kind of come to mind as we're here. My children actually suggested we talk about Jesus being tempted in the desert, but something else kind of came to my mind, an, almost an object lesson of sorts. Um, I mean, it's amazing, just the dry sand that's here, but the huge rock formations also that almost look like plastic in a sense. It's just kind of hard to describe them. It makes me think of, first of all, how creative God must be to have made all this and to see just the intricate designs in the rocks, the way they've eroded and the, the patterns, the detail. It just tells me a lot about who God is. But the thing that's really stuck out to me today, we took a short walk, about a half a mile, to the, the highlight of this particular park. It's called the Delicate Arch. But we all just came back to the car just exhausted. Um, the heat of the desert, the dryness, we were just all so thirsty. And a couple of things have come to mind from that. You know, the first is, you know, I look around and I see the green trees and, and I remember the passage that God brings rain to the desert as well as to the, the good lands. He, he brings rain to the good and the bad. And just the thought, you know, this is not really good land here, but God's provided rain for these, these trees to grow. Um, even evergreen trees growing here. Um, that provision is just kind of amazing. It makes me wonder how desperate for water do these plants get sometime and you know we talk about our just short walk and how desperate we were for water when we got back to our vehicle fortunately we had some with us but you know god god says i'm the living water those who drink of me will never thirst again and are we that kind of desperate for the living water that god provides that Jesus provides to us. We just talked about it in our last message on the, on the Bible passage, but when you spend about an hour taking a half mile walk in the 92 degree desert, it takes on a new meaning. You know, that, that thirst, we need to have that same spiritual thirst for God. Do you have that in your life today? Love to hear your comments. Um, feel free to leave them or email us. Contact us on the web at faithroanoke.com. Until next time, we will see you again.